Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with Mission 3 out of the Resolute Alliance campaign. Last mission was not pretty. We got overwhelmed as the enemy found a landing point, established a beachhead. So now we've got reports that there may be another landing zone kind of nearby. So, as per tradition, let's go ahead and give you the briefing. So, this is going to take place over a large space, as you can see on the map. So we've gotten indications on radar that around this area there is a couple enemy air units. So we're going to send in a couple F-35s flown by me to go ahead and take out the enemy choppers. If there are landing forces there then we'll call in some close air support and we'll take them from the south. Alright, so we're in route right now. Up above is where my radar is. I've got one, oh he's way up north, one wingman. We're going to be coming into this one. And according to the radar, there's two air units, two of us. You can see my wingman's already starting to open fire on that guy down there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy farther to the south. Oh, man, there are a lot of land units here. See the tracers from the chopper. Now, we're pretty good at being able to engage them from a distance. But might have to get pretty close and personal in this one here which actually gives the advantage to the choppers because their gunners are ridiculously good and can pick me out of the sky so I made sure I got as far away from him as I could before I turned around I've got to zoom in here there he is so I'll just have to target him oh it looks like one chopper's down and I think that other chopper might be firing at my wingman so it's really important that I all right well he's been hit now his countermeasures are actually pretty effective against me. But I think with that one, yep, I got a hit on him. So he's going down. That actually wasn't too bad at all. But with the amount of enemy that we've got down there who have unloaded, this is not going to be something that we'll be able to take care of. In fact, these F-35s are loaded out for anti-air. Kind of makes sense here since we had to scramble over there. So I'm going to head back towards the airfield but we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to the a164s now the a164s are the game's newer a10s designed for close air, or, uh, yep close air support not so quick but rather than evading enemy fire they're kind of designed to take a beating so we'll be heading off here as soon as this c130 in front of us takes off same thing I'll have one uh, wingman in this as well now as I mentioned in the briefing the plan that we have for these units is to be able to come in from the south heading north and be able to take out um, take out the enemy on the beach now I don't know how long they've been there they may very well have been able to move inland already but C-130 actually taking off is pretty cool now this airfield is occupied, of course, by American units. Ooh, that was close. I thought he was gonna run into the chopper there. Um, but I can imagine that this is a primary objective for CSAT to be able to take. So unless we can stop them, there'll probably be a pretty significant battle to be able to take this. I mean, the longer that we can hold it, the better off that we will be. Because at this stage of the campaign right now, we have air units, the enemy doesn't. I mean, the choppers that you saw from there Traveled a long distance, but there was no chance that they could really support over a large area of this map. So since we are also at a disadvantage, too, because I'm playing as the 11th Airborne, uh, we don't have armor. So the only thing that we can do to be able to stop them is to rely on the Air Force to be able to take out the armor. Granted, I know, 11th Airborne is not flying these planes, but hopefully you guys get the idea we're really going to be able to need them if we hope to be able to stop them. So we may see a lot more air power in the future of this campaign too, depending on how things go. There's also a couple other airfields on the map too, um, but since this is the main airfield, this is where a lot of the stories are going to be coming out from. There's one to the northeast and then there's one extreme south, which is not too far away from where the enemy landed in the last mission. Here we go. 
got my wingman now right behind me on the runway. Ooh, we got some larger planes down there too. Kind of more cargo except for the AC-130 gun ship down there. Alright, well once my wingman kind of catches up with me, we'll start heading towards the enemy. C-130 in front of us. Now, I'm kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage here on this particular mission, solely because I'm doing this with the keyboard and the mouse. Now, Arma 3 had this issue with it when I was playing it earlier, where my joystick would not work. But now that I've upgraded to Windows 10, it hasn't been a problem. But because I was playing this back when I had Windows 8, and everything about this campaign kind of carries on over to the next mission. I could just go ahead and play. Now, as we're kind of coming around here, this is actually the location where we fought in the previous mission. You can see, absolutely decimated by the enemy. All right, so didn't want you guys to be able to see all the flying because it takes a really long time for me to be able to get here. Now that we're coming around, I'm gonna switch positions and the enemy is actually right up there. You can see I'm starting to call out a truck. The wingman's not too far away from me here either. There's that factory that we saw on the map in the briefing. So we know just past it, right on the coast, is where the enemy is. You can also see the landing ships here. Now that is a lot of enemy down there. So I've been dropping what is normally laser-guided bombs, but since I don't have anybody to laser the targets, I thought maybe I could just dumb fire them and maybe take out you guys. Now, one of the things about uh, these particular aircraft is they're also, as I mentioned, designed for close air support. So we've got a lot of weapons to be able to take out these vehicles down here. Now, it's gonna be very difficult for me to be able to do two because I only have a limited number of air-to-ground missiles. I've already expelled all my uh, laser-guided bombs. But then I also have some dumb fire rockets on here as well. And, of course, a very, very powerful cannon on it. So the A-10 obviously has the Vulcan on it. We've got something pretty similar to this. And I took out one artillery piece. And you can see we're taking some fire from down there. So trying to come in from a different way from my wingman so that way we're focused on one of us but, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way rather than trying to follow him now we just took out a tank and from my first pass over the enemy I saw a few tanks a few artillery pieces and a number of transports some infantry on the ground too. So it's absolutely vital that we take out as many armor um, and artillery pieces as we can because they are the ones who have the weaponry on them to be able to take me out. Now it looks like we have softened them up a little bit, but you can see from right there, there's still some tracers. Tracer rounds being shot my way. Oh man, my wingman failed. Well, I guess it's just me now. Looks like I have a little smoke coming out too. Now, targeting on this uh, game here is a little difficult. Oh, good, a tank. Still got three more missiles left. Fortunately, locked on. Pretty sure I got him there. I'll have to come around and see. But targeting can be a little bit difficult because you have to be zoomed in. Yes, I did. Uh, you have to be zoomed in on the enemy to be able to target them. Yeah, it looks like my wingman's being engaged right now by some of the infantry on the ground. At least he's calling out that they're there. Okay, one more armor. Alright, yeah, no, I don't want my wingman to be engaging that tank, which is actually the order that I called for. Okay. Oh, 
little farther out. Let's see if we can find him. That's a transport. I don't know if I want to worry about it necessarily right now, but let's find that tank. I think it's amongst this group. Well, Machine I hit something down there, meters, which gives me one more air-to-ground missile. Now, if it's red, that means it's operational. If it was gray, like you saw earlier, it means it's not, but it could still do some significant damage if enemy are still inside of it. Like, one of the turrets may be out, or the tracks may be out, but it still be able to fire its weapons. And I've got a pilot that's down right now too so I need to be very careful that I don't hit him but try and protect him too okay so the tank is down there now since I've only got that one air to ground missile left I want to make sure I target this guy before I use it because my dumb fire rockets are next and I don't feel as confident that I'm going to be able to hit that Go a little bit over the ocean before I come around yet again. Take him out. Now I love missions where I get a chance to fly because when I was a kid I really wanted to be an astronaut. And I knew to be an astronaut your best bet was to be in the Air Force and be a fighter pilot. So when I was told how to get glasses, I was like absolutely devastated. Because at that point LASIK didn't count. Oop, was that it? And I knew I couldn't be a fighter pilot, but I love everything aircraft. Like, I remember my parents got me a book. There it is. I don't think I'm going to hit it. I'm going to go up over these trees and come around. But no, my parents got me this book about airplanes. And I memorized so much stuff in there. And I know a lot of kids, you know, maybe like trains or cars or whatnot. But for me, it was all aircraft. So... I don't know, this is the closest I'll probably ever get to flying a fighter. I've wanted to get a couple other games too. But I haven't had the time, especially since I've been playing a ton of armor. Alright, I'm going to have to come in from the north because with that hill in the way, if I were to have fired my rocket right there, my missile, then it would have just impacted on the hill. So I gotta make sure I get a clear shot. I gotta do this one right. Now, even though my weapons can't lock on, I still have it targeted. So I think that's good enough. We'll come around now. I must admit, doing this with keyboard and mouse, I think I'm doing all right. Okay, a lot of range. I need to get a little closer here, but nice. All right, so now I'll switch some rockets here to see if we can take out some of the infantry. I'm not too concerned about the infantry necessarily trying to take me out, but more than we would be falling on the ground. There we go, took a few of them out there. Now, since I play this on a pretty big TV, I mean, I can spot the infantry. I hope you guys will be able to see it too. When you guys are watching this, when I post it on YouTube, but well, already I would call this mission a success. All of the armor has been destroyed. And the way that I know that for sure is nobody is shooting at me now. So this is almost like a giant uh, turkey shoot as we're going through this. Just infantry is left and then a few transport vehicles. So I can take this a little bit slower. As you can see, I'm only going at about I think it's 350 kilometers an hour. So got them I probably didn't need to expel as much ammunition to be able to take those guys out as I did but now I'm switching over to armor piercing so now my main target rather than infantry is going to be some of the vehicles and transports that were down there as well I'm not concerned at all about the landing craft because in the few passes that I've done there's nothing in them so, I'm not going to waste my ammunition on them right now. 
So we've got a clump of vehicles right here in front of us. I'll try to see if I can take them out. Run it over more. Well, at least I took out the wheels on that one. That's pretty embarrassing. I went through all my armor piercing ammunition. So now I get to switch to the good old cannon. It's the only thing I've got left as far as ammo goes. Well, I also have some, uh, I think, Sidewinders. Short range anti-air missiles, but those will have zero effect. But yeah, no armor from this position moving over right now. Now I have a thousand rounds of, of this here. So it's really just a matter of spraying over the area. Let's see if I can blow anything up over here. Well, this is where it gets really hard with keyboard and mouse. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible, but I think uh, some of my ammunition may have strayed off into that city in front of us. Now again, since nobody is shooting back at me, I'm accelerating right here just so but I'm going to take this pretty slow to see if I can zoom in, find enemy infantry or vehicles that still may be operational. Take those out here before I get out of here. At the very least, I want to expel all the ammunition that I can. With each pass that I've had so far, I know I'm focused on one particular target. There's my wingman down there. Um, I've been focused on a particular target, but also kind of been analyzing what's been going on in other places as well. But taking a look at that map, it looks like we've gotten most of everybody except for a couple uh, infantry for the enemy. I think that was a auto rifleman and a grenadier. I don't know. I have a hard time seeing them. There they are. Dang it. Oh man. I was like three feet short. Three feet off to the left. Well, they're facing the other direction too. And I was able, as you guys may have noticed, to destroy a vehicle. So I have a good indication now of where they might be. pass here might be able to get them the thing is with the smoke it might be masking where they are too kind of line fire maybe i'll hit something over here oh okay my guy's just injured oh no there is a bunch more all right I don't have too much ammunition left. I'll be honest, I've been wasting it. This is my first time doing a close air support mission like this. This is what's been cool about this campaign, at least for me. I've been doing a lot of things in the game that I haven't done before because the campaign just focuses on infantry. You don't do too much with, ve don't do too much with vehicles and absolutely nothing with fighters or any type of Air, except maybe being transported in helicopters. But, alright, I think I took those guys down. Oh, right in between both of them! Maybe I should have waited until I had a mouse, or uh, my joystick working. But after this, it won't be a problem. Any other air mission I do after this will be when I have Windows 10 and joystick. All right, 220 rounds left. Um, there they are. 
gosh, come on. I get one? I think I only have enough for one or two more passes on these guys. Oh, there is only one left. Okay. This one's got to be it. We'll come around one more time. If we hit them, great. If not, I'm bugging out. I have no other way to be able to take them down. Okay. Zoom in here. I know where he's at. Gotta be smart about this. Nope. All right. Yes! I got him. All right. Well, that's gonna be it here for this mission. Nobody left on the map. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna call in some search and rescue to see if we can rescue our down pilot. So thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Mission success on this one. As always, I hope you guys have a good one.